Hey there folks, welcome to Upgrade Junkie. My name's Jacob and today we're gonna to be taking a look at a home network solution that's faster than Wi-Fi and a fraction of the cost of having ethernet cables run through your house. Also, if you enjoy the content that I'm putting out, don't forget to like and subscribe below. Okay folks, today we're going to be taking a look at the Motorola Mocha adapter. This is a device that uses the existing coaxial cables in your home to transmit your home networking and internet signals across the house. Mocha stands for Multimedia Over Coaxial Alliance, and you may be more familiar with it than you think. If you've been recording and streaming Desperate Housewives to your bedroom so you can watch it out of the judging eyes of your family, you've already been using this technology. That's not all Mocha can do though. Mocha can use the coaxial cables already run through your house to act like an ethernet network, allowing you to achieve close to wired speeds in any part of your house. This makes it very convenient when the router's on one side, but you need the stability and the speed of a wire connection on the other side of your home and don't want to deal with any type of Wi-Fi situation as well. I found this solution after trying to have an ethernet network installed in my home. I had a contractor come out and quote me on the price to run a couple of cables and it came up to be $1,200 for a Cat6 network. Uh, this was a little unacceptable to me, but after assuring my wallet and my wife that I wasn't gonna be taking a payday loan just to connect my media center PC up to my router, I started searching in the internet for a new solution. There I came upon Mocha, which boasted a one gigabit per second internet speed without having to install new wires, all for around a hundred bucks. To say I was intrigued would be an understatement. So I hopped over to Amazon, grabbed two Motorola Mocha adapters, one for my modem that was going to turn the ethernet signal into a coaxial one, and then one down by, me by my media center PC and my TV that would once again translate that coaxial signal to an ethernet signal and be able to plug straight into those devices. Now let me explain a few things about Mocha. The current generation of Mocha is a 2.0 bonded signal. Now with that, you're getting one gigabit per second speeds across your coaxial cables. Originally, there was a Mocha 1.0, which was 100 megabits per second, followed shortly by a 1.1, which was 175, and a 2.0 non-bonded that came in at 500 gigabits per second. So we get up to today's speeds of one gigabit per second, and on the horizon, there is a Mocha 2.5 generation that's gonna get 2.5 gigabits per second speeds. That one was announced in 2016, so should be coming to market sometime soon. Mocha signals can share the same coaxial cable with your cable TV, so running a second cord isn't necessary. Now sadly, DirecTV and AT&T's U-verse setup do not support Mocha over their same lines as their television signal. I'm assuming that there's some interactions and it actually messes up both signals. There are some modems that are actually already equipped with Mocha ability. Check with your cable provider or the manufacturer of your modem to see if yours is actually applicable for that situation. If it's not, then you're just gonna need the two adapters, the one at the modem and the one at the point where you want the signal. If yours does have the ability for Mocha, you're only gonna need the one adapter where you want the signal at. So you can actually save 50 bucks in the steel by going with that. Now, with the setup of this is actually very simple. The first thing you're gonna set up is on your modem, you're gonna attach a PoE filter. This is a filter that doesn't allow the back migration of the Mocha signal into your router, so it doesn't mess with any signals that you have going on there. You're also going to install another PoE filter right where your hap the cable actually comes into your home so that the Mocha signals won't transfer back to the main line that you share with your neighbors so no one else can pick up your signals. Now these are very easy to install. They just actually screw on the coaxial input on both your modem and where it comes into your home. Depending on your modem and router setup your, at your house, your installation may be a little different than mine. I actually have a dedicated modem and a dedicated router. So watch the video and just kind of take the principles that I use if yours is a little different and apply them to whatever setup that you have at your house. So after the Mocha filter is installed, you're gonna plug a coaxial cable into the device port on the Mocha adapter and plug that into the PoE filter on the modem. This is your connection between the Mocha adapter and your modem that you'll actually be sending the signal across. You're going to follow that up by plugging your line that comes from your cable company into the Mocha adapter. And this will actually act as the backbone for the Mocha network as well. You're going to plug a ethernet cable into your modem and into the WAN port on your router, followed by a ethernet cable from a, one of the LAN ports on your router to the Mocha adapter. This is how your internet signal goes into your Mocha network. 
So your signal will be coming in from your cable company to the network port, out the device line into your modem. It'll be going from your modem to your router. And then from your router, it'll be going back to your Mocha box to supply the internet signal for the rest of the network. That'll go out the line back into the main line that you have throughout your home. Now in the room that you wish to connect the devices, set up your Mocha adapter. Plug the coaxial cable into the Mocha adapter, followed by the power, and then put the ethernet cable into the adapter and bring that to whatever device you're wanting it to go to. Now that everything is set up, let's take a look at some of the speeds you can get off of this Mocha adapter. Now I'm going to be comparing against the Orbi Wi-Fi mesh network that I have in my home already. So it may be a little different than yours, but it should give you a good idea of what you have and what options you have for networking your home. I actually ran three different tests. The first test I did was just using the Wi-Fi off of the Orbi satellite. The second test I did was plugging a ethernet cable into the Orbi satellite and straight into my computer. And the third test was using the Mocha adapter connected by ethernet. In each scenario, I ran a test five times on speedtest.net, throwing out the highest and lowest score and then averaging the rest of the scores. The first test I did was using the Orbi, just wireless, no ethernet connection. The results of the first test were a 14 millisecond ping time, 470 megabits per second download speed, and a 42 megabit per second upload speed. The second test that I did was the Orbi still, but I had an ethernet cable plugged into the Orbi. Doing this, you can take advantage of the Orbi's five gigahertz dedicated line that it has between the satellite and the base station and get higher speeds. Now with the computer hardlined to the Orbi, I was able to once again get a ping of 14 milliseconds, a download speed of 727 megabits per second, and an upload speed of 42 megabits per second. So this alone was able to almost double the speed that I had just on the Wi-Fi off of the same device. The last Last test I did was using the Mocha adapter, bypassing the switch just so I didn't have any interference right there and I can give you the speeds that the Mocha allows. So I bypassed the switch and the speeds I ended up getting off that were once again a ping of 15 milliseconds, which was about margin of error from the other two tests as well. So I'm going to call that a tie. The speeds I got were 859 megabits down and 42 megabits up. The Mocha adapters give me 85% of my theoretical maximum download speeds for only $100. And that's with the two Mocha devices. So if your router actually has the built-in Mocha already, you could be spending $50 and getting these kinds of speeds. In comparison to my other solution for the issue with the Orbi mesh setup, land in, so I have an ethernet cable plugged from my home theater PC to the Orbi came in at around 72% of the maximum theoretical speed of my home internet. Now that is awesome, but the price of that was between $350 and $400, depending on the retailer or Amazon or the deal of the day that you're going to get on those. So to close out this video, I'd like to say that I love these little Mocha adapters. They work very well, they're easy to set up, they're stable with high speeds, and they're relatively cheap. For $100, you can skip out on running an ethernet cable where the cable alone may be $100 and having someone install it's another $100 or $200. So you will beat that out, get damn near wired speeds for easy setup. And that can also be transferred to any room of your home. All you need to get in another room of the house is another adapter. My best setup for this is using it to plug in my smart TVs or plug in my game stations, plug in my home theater center PC, and have it hardwired and not having to worry about Wi-Fi, especially if your computer or your console is in a box in your house and can cut down on the Wi-Fi signals. Your download speeds are gonna be better. Your latency that I've seen is about the same, but just seems to work better overall. Now, a couple of other use cases for this can be this right here. One of them is actually using Wi-Fi access points in your house with a Mocha adapter going to it. So you can have the access point hardwired into your router and then get almost the full speed that that access point can put out. Now, another benefit of Mocha is it's using a coaxial cable. These signals can travel a lot farther than plain ethernet alone. So if you have some far-flung part of your property that you wanna drop a cable underground, and using a cheap coaxial cable to run a couple hundred meters and get it out to a barn or whatever kind of thing that you need on the other end of your home, this is a good thing to drop in. You're going to get the ethernet signals, you're gonna be able to set up your security cameras or your office in a different part and get the same wired speeds that you have in your house, relative. But okay folks, this is gonna be the end of the video today. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you actually check out these products. I've been impressed by them and I think you will be too. Once again, super easy setup high speeds and cheap. 
Now, if you're enjoying my videos and you wanna help me out, I do have a Patreon up. Uh, the link is in my YouTube channel's bio if you wanna go check that out as well. But make sure to like, comment, and subscribe below and let me know if you wanna see anything else. Now, I did mention my Orbi setup that I have as well, the mesh Wi-Fi system, which I also like if you're trying to do anything with your phone or your laptop and things like that. It's also a good setup. If you wanna see a video about that, leave me a comment below and just let me know. I'll make another one. But once again, my name is Jacob and this is Upgrade Junkie. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Have a great day, y'all.